Hey guys, it's me Google Cubing and in this video I'm going to show you how I set up my Moyu Hualong. And before we start, the first step I always do is doing 100 to 500 solves. In this cube I have done 500 solves and then only I do my lubrication process. So before you start, do at least 100 solves or 500 solves and then do this process. So first step is of course you have to take out the center caps. I have already taken all of them out to save some time. And the tools that you will be requiring would be a screwdriver and then your lubrication bottle and a paper towel or a used cloth or anything uh, like which you can use to wipe the pieces. So first step is to disassemble the cube and keep your center caps at one side so that you don't mix up the center caps with other pieces. So once you are done disassembling the cube, you keep the core aside for now and you only take a look at the pieces. So in the pieces, if you see that a lot of dust has accumulated inside, then what you can do is take your cloth, right, and wipe the pieces. So how you do it is you take an end of the cloth, you keep the piece in between and just thoroughly wipe it. Uh, the factory loop will also get wiped in this process so you have a new cube to uh, apply lubrication or sometimes what I do is I would just dump these pieces in uh, soap water and then just rigorously try to get out the factory loop and it doesn't hurt these stickers I have done a lot of times and the moist stickers are good so it doesn't uh, hurt the piece uh, it doesn't hurt the stickers so do this process will all of so once you are done wiping off the pieces you can keep the pieces also aside for now and come back to doing the core so at this point you should have a kind of a container or something like that in which you can keep your screws so take your screwdriver and start unscrewing the screws and then you can keep the screws in the spare and then we will work on with the core so now once you are done unscrewing them, you will have the screws in one container and you will have the core and the pieces on the other side. So you can keep the screws away for now. And now we will start lubricating the core. And for the core, again, you should take your towel and just wipe the pieces off. Like that. So now that you are done wiping off the pieces, now we can go on to the lubrication part. So for lubrication, I am using Traxa 50K Differential Oil. It is the lube of my choice which I use for the core. And yeah, just take the cap off and we will start lubricating. So the piece will have an inner down bottom ring. I'll just show. So it will have this outer ring, right? This is the uh, one of the rings. And below that it will have another dip and at the lowest it will have another dip right so what we do is we take a uh, lubrication and first we apply it to this middle ring and then the lowest ring right so for how much lube you want you should take around this much lubrication you should take around this much not too much if you can see and put it on this ring right then take the same amount and put it on the lower ring so now we have lubricated those two rings and we will do the same with all of these six cores now that we are done lubricating the pieces of the core we will start lubricating these screws also so what you can just keep these aside for now and we'll work on the screws so your screw you should have the screw assembled like this so screw spring washer at the end right and what you do is take the washer out for now and just take the screw and you put lubrication the same amount you put in the core just around here so So take your lubrication, just put a little bit of there, then you allow the spring to come down, right? And then you take the washer, and the washer will have a shiny side like this, and then a dull side. 
right and the shiny type uh, shiny uh, part would be a little bit bulged out so the bulging out should be uh, should come over the top so you keep the dull side down like this so now I have the shiny part on the top and you put a little bit of lubrication around at the ends here also and with this uh, lubricated screw you put this lubricated screw inside the core like that and now you can keep this aside and do it for all of them so now I have done the lubrication of the core pieces and if you didn't understand anything I will link my previous uh, setup video down below and I do the same thing so you can watch that I go in much more detail in that one. So now that I have done lubricating this, these pieces we can start lubricating, uh, we can start to put the cube back. You don't have to do anything to this core. Uh, if you want you can just take your cloth again and wipe the core a little bit because it has these black black dust from the cube so yeah you just wipe the piece and uh, wipe, wipe the core and then you just start assembling it and to prevent the crooked screws what you can do is you take a screwdriver and you put the screwdriver like this down here and then grip this and this is something I learned from Crazy Bad Cuba, so this is not my own trick. But then you hold the, this, uh, hold the screwdriver like this, and you take this core, and you start uh, rotating the core on the screw. So uh, making sure that the core doesn't go in crooked, and just don't put it all the way. Just leave little gap like this one, this much, and you just start again doing the same thing with the others you hold it like this then you take the core and you make sure that the screw goes in straight so now i'm done putting the core back together and so if you remember i asked you to keep a little bit of space in between and not put the screw inside hole so now we are going to utilize that space and lubricate the uh, last bit for the core so what you do is you hold the core like this so that like this right I am using my ring finger and thumb to hold the lower part down and then these two fingers for holding the top part and you make the core wide and then you take your lubrication and you lubricate the part in between them and just put a little bit and not too much on both of them and then you can grab it with both of your hand and then start just moving it like this and then slowly slowly uh, letting it leave like that so this lubricates the these two uh, the friction so this reduces the friction between the core piece and the core so now you are going to do with all of them so now how you can keep in mind that you have done one of them so at this point what I do is I take a center cap and I just put it back uh, on one of them. So I know that these two are done. So now we'll do the same. We'll just hold, oops, hold these two, put lubrication, right? Then grab with both of your hands and just move it. And as you can see, it gradually goes fast then you take on the center cap it doesn't really matter which color you are doing as long as you are just putting on a center cap then these two now we can start assembling the cube and you can take off the center caps now so now we will start assembling the cube and how i assemble is uh, like in petrus method so first i'll just put in a white or any color uh, uh, edge piece right and then I will put in the next adjacent edge piece so I know that uh, right side of uh, blue should be red so I'll put the red one next like this then I'll put this corner so it should be the white blue and red corner piece I am not finding it anywhere so this is the corner right I put this and then I put this edge so this edge is the blue and red edge so this is the blue and red edge and I put that 
so this is the creation of my 2 by 2 by 2 block then I put in the next edge piece so this should be the white and green put it like that then the corner uh, this should be the white uh, green and red corner I am not finding it for yep this is the one and then I put this edge piece in so this is the uh, green and red uh, corner uh, edge piece like that and then I put the last edge in for making completing my cross and then I put this corner or whichever corner piece you find first so I found this corner first put in this corner and then I put in this edge piece so it is the orange and uh, green edge piece and then I will leave this one empty for now and I'll start building up my last layer so just put in any random uh, corner piece then you see this color in front see this color in front you put the same color edge piece next so this the edge piece should be uh, should contain red so I have to find that one so this is the edge piece you put in the edge piece next and then again a red corner so red corner is this one then you put in the green edge piece um, this is the green edge piece and then you put in another green edge piece and add and then you put in another green edge piece and at this point I put in the corner for the bottom one and then continue building the top so I have to find the green corner which is right here then the orange edge piece just put it back in and rotate like this and now we will do the lubrication part so how we lubricate before we start i use 50k for the first time of lubrication so this is my first time lubricating the hua long so i will use 50k and then i break in the 50k and the next time lubricate i use 30k for the pieces and 50k for the core so but as it is my first time i will be using 50k so you take your lubrication 50k and then you put a little bit on this corner dip like this much if you can see that much and then a little bit on here also and then I like to put in a little bit around the center cap here and a little bit on this dip also right so now that we are done we can just put in this edge piece so the edge needs to go here right and then I will rotate like this and do the same for this center and this one right then you put in this corner and then you put in this edge piece and you start moving the cube around then you take in on the side you just pop out the edge piece and the corner piece and do the same there so so put in a little bit of lube here on this corner dip a little bit around here and here and then when you put in this corner you put in a little bit of lubrication here also and then you put the edge piece back in and again you mix up and then if you still don't feel that the cube is speeding up you take in another edge piece out and then you do the same in here but I won't recommend it as it makes your cube more gummier or you can do this process if you want the cube to be much more slower if the speed is faster and out of control for you so you do it one third uh, one more third time and then you just put it back in but I won't recommend doing it on the third time so that is how you lubricate your hualong and again if you didn't understand anything I will leave a link in the description uh, for you to watch it is the same process I do and I go in much more detail so if you didn't understand anything you can watch that so I hope you like this video guys give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more cubing videos and I'll see you in my next video so take care and bye